What's up, everybody? My name is Jason, and welcome to a major warning for EIDL grant and loan applicants. It is Tuesday, October the 12th, 2021. Please do me a huge favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and go find me over on Twitter at Try Small Biz, username Small Biz Inc., the name of the company that I formed to help grow your small biz. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on with our stock picks? If you are not following me over on Twitter at Try Small Biz, username Small Biz, comma, Inc., you may have missed two major firecrackers. All right, first of all, everybody knows that I recommended ANY. Alan Nancy Yellow on this channel at five and a half. Well, it shot to eight and a quarter yesterday. Some of you traders pulled the trigger. Good for you. Many of you are long-term investors and said, wait a second, how come it was down a dollar today? Because Bitcoin came down 4,000 points. Ladies and gentlemen, ANY, if Bitcoin goes through 65,000 and change before the end of the year, in my opinion, is a 10 to $15 stock this time next year. The second pick that's over on Twitter, I don't believe I've mentioned it here, but it's been over there for days, is BBIG, Bob, Bob, Idiot, Gary. I mentioned that stock at five bucks a share. Many of you bought it. And holy cow, in the late Phil Rizzuto's uh, voice, it's right now at $6.70. So if you want to pull the ripcord, what is that? 30% plus in two days? Are you kidding me? But be forewarned. BBIG is about to spin off TYDE, Cryptide. So if you're a shareholder in the next four or five days when they actually announce the record date, you would get a spinoff of TYDE. I don't know the ratio, but again, anybody else out there giving you 30 to 45% in less than a week? Mm, I don't think so. And then yesterday on Twitter, I mentioned F-A-M-I, Frank Allen Mary Idiot. 35 cents. You had a chance to buy it again today when it dipped under 35. Do not chase any of these stocks. Do not chase any of these stocks. There's always another train leaving the station. 35 cents if you want FAMI. They got to get the stock over a dollar before the end of the year. Of all things, it's a Chinese mushroom farmer that's actually profitable. Trades about 300 million shares a day. So once again, F-A-M-I, do not pay, in my opinion, more than 35 cents a share. So ladies and gentlemen, bit of a different open, pull up a chair, grab a cup of coffee, ice cold beer, glass of wine, here we go. All right, keeping your small biz report in under 10 minutes, I wanna start with a major warning. And then I wanna spend the balance of the second half of the video going over three or four ways that you can get your money before the end of the year. All right, first of all, once again, warning, warning, warning. Do not call, text, or email anyone ever in the social media comments of YouTube, Twitter, or anywhere else for that matter. It's a scam. Folks, I've been here for 17 months. Some say that I've helped raise over a billion dollars of 300 in total for the idle loan and grant program. I have never once, not a single fucking time, charged anyone a single penny and nor will I ever do so. So when you see my name and face out there asking you to text someone at WhatsApp or hit me up on Instagram, it's a scam. And I have roasted Twitter and YouTube. They refuse to do anything about this because about 25% of social media traffic or profiles are fake. They're bots, and many of those bots are fucking criminals, and they're trying to rip you off. So in case you haven't heard me for the 10 millionth time, never call, email, or text someone in the comments. It's a scam. And if it's got my name and face, you better click through and say, oh, gee, They've got two followers. That's not Jason with over 7,000 on Twitter, 53,000 on LinkedIn, and almost 70,000 subs on YouTube. Thank you very much. Triple check everything that sounds fishy. And in case you didn't hear me, never call, email, text, or send anyone a fucking dime with respect to your idle loans or grants. All right, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, there is a $60 billion restaurant Revitalization Fund Act in the Senate. Jackie Rosen, among others, co-sponsored it last week. So if you or someone you know owns a restaurant, I am very confident 
Within the next 30 to 60 days, when they finally actually vote on these bills, 1.2 trillion for infrastructure, three and a half, which probably gets pushed down to two and a half or thereabouts, the restaurants are gonna get the help that they deserve. So please pass that around if you haven't heard so already. What about the $10,000 EIDL grant that I've been hanging around for, Jason, with respect to the last 17 months? I don't have an answer, but I do find this very interesting. If you recall me telling you many, many weeks ago that John Cornyn, one of the co-sponsors of the EIDL Small Business Act, known as S513, was actually the leader that gutted the idle program of $31 billion. So as far as I'm concerned, he's a turncoat. He's, he's worse than that, but this is a family show, ladies and gentlemen. So, But to our good grace, if I may say so myself, Big Ben fucking Carton, who is the chairman of the Senate Committee for Small Biz, a Democrat, out of Maryland says, no, no, hold on a second. And he threw a fit on the Senate floor a few weeks ago and says, we can't take this money away. So I am hearing, and this is not a guarantee. This is not a fucking guarantee. One of the reasons why the SBA may be ramping up their customer service, which they announced they were going to do over a month ago, and there's a shit ton of help wanted ads out there, they outsource most of it, is because the idle program may spill over into 2022. So if that's true, and Big Ben Carden is successful in stopping the gutting of the idle targeted advance and the supplemental program they don't have enough people in low-income communities to give that money away they've tried for the last six months they were advertising although they did stop that i wonder why because we roasted their fucking ass for doing so so if you're among the five million in this country tens of thousands watching this channel or that at least they used to and you want 10 or even fifteen thousand dollars if you suffered a significant economic loss the game's not over yet but we don't have a definite answer. The longer this drags out, the longer that 25 plus billion dollars remains idle in the program, the greater the chance you have, if you're in a middle or high income community, to get the money that you deserve. All right, in closing, in under 10 minutes, you gotta get a privacy release form. I know you're sick and tired of hearing that. You'd be amazed how many people don't listen to that. Whenever they tell me their problems, I say, did you reach out to your senators, your congressmen and women to get a privacy release form? Uh, no. How many times have you heard me say it? Well, quite a bit. You got to do it. And yes, you'll have to call an email several times. The email, privacy release form in the subject. Hi, Senator so-and-so. I'm in district such and such, and I've been waiting four months for my idle increase, or I'm in reconsideration. I need you to send me a privacy release form because if I don't get $278,000 by this time next month, I'm going to be out of business. Thank you very much. It's that simple. Don't rant and rave. Just get a privacy release form, sign it, and try to get it from both senators and as many congressmen and women as you can. All right, score.org. Many of those counselors used to work at the SBA, so get one in your area. Score.org. And here, again, is a huge tip. Your local SBA, more and more are starting to come around that, wait a second, I guess our boss, Miss Isabel Guzman, did say that it is our fucking job in the a uh, local area like Washington, D.C. that threatened to block small business owners. That's not happened again, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder why. I wonder fucking why that shit's come to an end. So go to Google, put in your state, New York District Office Dash Small Business Administration, spell it out. Illinois District Office Dash Small Business Administration. In the first page or two, you're going to get a PDF. It may be up to six pages long. There'll be dozens of local SBA officers, names, titles, phone numbers, the email, first dot last name. Reach out as many as you have to in order to get someone to help you. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sticking with me. Over the next 17 months, you're not gonna, you're not gonna believe what's coming. A guarantee? You mean I'm gonna guarantee something that if you don't get your... I'll save it for later with respect to the website. Until next time, always remember I love you. And thanks for watching.